Top ongoing projects in Rwanda. Rwanda, a country that has traversed the most hideous times in its history and experienced both economic and socio-political instability more than 15 years ago, is today reputed as one of the outstanding economically improved countries on the African continent. Rwanda's capital and largest city is renowned as the cleanest city in Africa for years now and still there's much to anticipate from this country. Officially, the Republic of Rwanda is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley, where the African Great Lakes region in East Africa converge. Rwanda is bordered by Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Rwanda has a population of over 12.6 million, living on 26,338 km square of land, and is the most densely populated mainland African country. Hello, explorers! Welcome to the Explore, where we bring you interesting facts from around the African continent. In this video, we are going to present to you the top ongoing projects in Rwanda. If you are new to our channel, welcome! Please subscribe and turn post notifications to get notified on our future uploads. For the past three or four years, Rwanda has been announcing mega projects year in, year out. Many have been considered very innovative to the economy, and others somewhat too ambiguous with a lengthy completion period, even though altogether they would stir the country to a greater status. Number 1. Bugasera International Airport, $1.3 billion The Rwandan government decided to embark on the construction of a new airport, engaging the services of the Motor Angel Africa, an African engineering company, in partnership with the Bugisera Airport Company, Airport Concessionaire. The project for the construction of the Bugisera International Airport in Rwanda, the largest international airport of the country, is underway. Bugisera International Airport will be located 28 kilometers away from the capital city Kigali, and will serve as a means for Mota Angel to consolidate its expansion in Africa. The new airport is expected to start handling 1.7 million passengers a year to reach 3 million passengers by 2030. The budgeted cost of the project is $1.3 billion. The new airport will serve as a world-class gateway to Rwanda, with potential to become a key hub for airlines operating to and from the regional airports of Rwanda and also other neighboring East African nations. The national airline, Rwanda Air, has already planned to open new routes including the United States of America, Ethiopia, Mozambique and Angola. This project will cause Rwanda to benefit from a rebound in tourism and business travel thus allowing a growth from $150 to $800 million revenue in seven years that will benefit all sectors and finally enhance the life of the inhabitants by creating thousands of jobs. Number 2. Gisagara Power Plant – $400 million Gisagara Thermal Power Station is an 80-megawatt peat-fired thermal power plant which is currently under construction in the southern province of Rwanda. Actually, the power station is located in Akanyaru village, Gisagara district, southern province, approximately 75 kilometers by road, southwest of the city of Kigali. In January 2016, Rwanda's energy sector was boosted by the signing of a power purchase agreement and a concession agreement with Hakan Madensilik Electric Uritim San to design, build, finance, own, operate and manage the Jisara power plant, intended to be an 80 megawatt peat power plant to produce electricity for the country. The 80 megawatt Gisara peat power plant will complement the 15 megawatt Gishoma thermal power station, which came online in 2017. It had been agreed that Hakan will finance the estimated $400 million project. Construction began in 2017 and completion was expected in 2020. However, it is still on the way. In August 2020, 
Rwandan print media reported that overall progress of development of the power station was estimated at 96.7%, with completion anticipated in April 2021. Number 3. Kivu Methane Gas Extraction Project One of the most resourceful natural resources Rwanda is blessed with is Lake Kivu. It is scientifically established that the methane in Lake Kivu is estimated to have the capacity to generate 700 megawatts of electricity over a period of 55 years straight on. Reasons why the Rwandan authorities are looking to exploit this benefit. In 2009, Rwanda started works on extracting methane gas from Lake Kivu, which stretches between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo as part of meeting its national energy needs. Kivuwat, a project managed by Contour Global, was the world's first large-scale methane-to-power project. The project extracts methane from the Kivu to generate electricity, expanding household access to power, lowering costs, and reducing environmental hazards. The initial phase of the project used three gensets to produce 26 megawatts of electricity for the local grid. The second phase is expected to deploy nine additional gensets at 75 megawatts, essentially doubling Rwanda's power production. Kivuwat extracts gas from 350 meters beneath the lake and returns carbon dioxide into it to ensure balance and continuity of the ecosystem. The methane gas is separated and used to propel turbines, which then generate electricity. All this has come at a huge cost on Rwanda's economy, even though part of the project, like many others, is funded from overseas. A total of 400 million US dollars is in the investment agreed between the government in concession with GasMet. Under this agreement, GasMeth will process and compress the gas onshore to create compressed natural gas and create a distribution and retail network for the distribution of this and biofuel replacement across the country. Number 4. Base Rukomo Nyagatare Road Construction works of Rukomo Nyagatare Road project are underway and is far exceeding expectations vis-a-vis -vis other major road infrastructure projects around the continent. The road is being upgraded to asphalt and is expected to be completed by mid-2021, at the cost estimated to over $44 million. Construction works of this 73km road project started on 18 July 2018 and planned to be completed within 30 months. However, the pandemic has slowed things down. This road project is a continuation of base Gikumbi Rukoma Road and connects Eastern Province and Northern Province via Nagatare and Gikumbi districts. The project to develop the Rukomo Nagatare link is part of the Rwandan government's policy to improve the transport supply, with a view to promoting the integration of regions into economic area and stimulate exchanges between regions. The ultimate objectives being to increase the income of the population, fight and reduce poverty, and improve living conditions. The development of the Rukomo Nyagatare Road will provide new service opportunities for international flows along the North Corridor between Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, DR Congo, and Burundi, and provide avoidance of the city of Kigali for the international traffic of the DRC. Number 5. Amahoro National Stadium Upgrade Construction Project The Rwanda Ministry of Sport announced that activities to renovate the Amahoro National Stadium, Amahoro Indoor Stadium, and the Paralympic Games Gymnasium will commence in December and end sometime in 2021. The Amahoro Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium in the Gasabo district of Kigali, Rwanda, which was used by the UN to protect Tutsi refugees. The government had decided to embark on upgrading the stadium to enlarge its capacity and further renovate it. The upgrade, which could reportedly cost over $2 million, will see the stadium's capacity increase to 45,000 from the current 25,000 
while the indoor Petit Stade Stadium could accommodate 5,000 spectators. Petit Stade's current capacity is about 2,000 spectators, according to Desiree Mugwiza, president of the Rwanda Basketball Federation. Spectators going to the largest national stadium in Rwanda, Amahoro National Stadium, could soon get rid of extremes of weather, following an ongoing project to upgrade the 31-year-old national stadium. During a press conference at Kigali Stadium on Friday, September 18, the Minister of Sports, Aurora Mimosa Munyangaju, revealed that the upgrade of Amahoro Stadium goes with that of Indoor Stadium and the gymnasium for disabled athletes because they make one project, which she says will be finalized by 2021. We do hope that all these mentioned projects will come to completion because there is no debate to what benefit this would have to both Rwanda as a distinguished nation and Africa at large. Thanks for watching this Flores. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, like the video and share with your friends. Also drop your comments down below, turn on post notifications in order to get notified on future uploads.